If you're an Xbox One owner, Microsoft has been rolling out the updates to Windows 10 on your Xbox One. And this is what it looks like. So right here, we have Windows 10 update. Now, Microsoft said they've been rolling out in stages, so you should be able to get it. You've got, well, you've got a separated panel. So from everything from home, one guide store. Now, the first thing to note is if you're going to sign in, you're going to basically tap to the left. And this takes you to your new uh, quick access bar where you can sign into your account. And that's mine. So if you want to follow me on here, it's Thunder Emperor with all threes instead of E's. Now, we can also go in and check out our friends, or which friends we have online at that point in time. Um, and it's all in the list fashion. Now, the thing about this is you can always access this quick menu by double tapping your Xbox button on your controller from any game, anywhere, doesn't matter. You can start a party to chat. And I have to tell you though, the improvements in the party and chat system are much better, really fluid, uh, really fast, and it, it carries over. People can join in much easier, less issues with that. Of course, you can go in and check messages uh, from uh, friends uh, that you have in there. You can also see your notifications. They're now grouped into specific notifications. So you have activity feeds grouped together. Game DVR is also grouped together for me here. Uh, so you've got all these things grouped in one section. You also have settings. Now this has quick settings for you. And once I plug in my headset into my controller, this will actually populate the headset, uh, the headset volume control. So there it is right there. You can see I have connect for chat. I have headset volume. I have uh, chat mixer. I have mic monitoring. And of course I can turn the console on and off. So you have that built right there into the, again, the quick access menu that either on your home screen, go to the far left or double tap, tap in the home button. And then your snap is also right there on screen. So that's something you can quickly, easily do snap application, or if you have connect, you can always just call it out. So this is your home screen panel right here. You can see I have Call of Duty Black Ops 3. The game is not that good, seriously. Uh, next panel I have here is my community. Again, each, each section takes a whole screen. None of that slightly split menu, if you will. So uh, all the way to games, apps, movies and TVs, and music. Those are all the different panels that you have. And again, everything is larger, a live tile look. A, a little bit sharper so you can easily go to every application or every game or every movie you want to. So in our home panel here, we have Call of Duty and we have a few things on the side and then we have our recent. So Upload Studio is my recent, Call of Duty, Advanced Warfare, Halo, Groove Music. Right below that is my stuff, where it's my games and my apps and now all the stuff I have pinned on my home screen. It's right on the first panel. To get to that first panel from anywhere on the screen, just hit the home button once and it comes to your home panel right here. So a couple of things you find here is that everything is just a little bit larger and easier to access. And of course, you also have game hubs. And now the game hubs give you a better look at uh, what you, the games, uh, feeds, achievements, friends, captures, things like that. So you have it for almost every game. I think every game, not even almost every game, I apologize. So you can follow, you can launch the game from the game hub, you can check out feeds, you can see achievements that you've actually done and see what you're missing. Like, okay, I've only got 485 out of 2000 as a gamer score here. So I wanna do more on Call of Duty. You can see your friends, what you've done playing that game and the achievements there. And you can also check out all the different captures. You can go ahead and like those captures, comments and things like that. So you have that right there in your game hub, which is attached to every single game. So I have it for Black Ops, I have for Halo, things like that. The community here, of course, showcases what happens with your community of friends. So the stuff that I've put up, people like M Bucket TV is playing Fallout 4 right now. Uh, you know, what Sam has put up on his. And then the next one, of course, is One Guide. Now, One Guide is automatically populated here. I mean, I don't have TV, but you can see right there, it's got live TV options, movies, TV shows, apps and channels, and, and my movie TV. So basically giving you all your entertainment features into one central hub so you can discover app channels. They're trying to show you that, you know, which is kind of nice that they're giving you options to watch content through different applications as well as also your movies or TVs or live TV, whichever the case may be. Uh, this is one centralized place for all your, you can say your curated movie, TV show, viewing content. So it's nice that this is actually there specifically for that uh, in this case. So you can go in and check all the different channels and see what they have in terms of content. Now games, of course, has its own uh, panel and you can see the featured games on the top. You've got 
uh, other featured games at the bottom for Xbox right now is Rise of the Tomb Raider. I need to pick that up. I heard it's a really good game. I also want to pick up Transformers. I love the graphics of this. But when you go in there into the game, you can see how it looks. Now, the one thing I'll mention that um, is the speed. The speed is faster, not as fast as the advertise um, in the videos. Um, it is faster, definitely faster than what we had with the original Xbox dashboard. Um, and it's easy to go in and out. Uh, then again, granted, I sat on the beta program, so it's a little bit different. And then, of course, you've got applications. You can see the apps you can download all the way from Hulu to NBC to, you know, your controller app. And then you've got movies and TV, uh, which, of course, allows you to, you know, download and uh, watch movie and TV shows or stream them, whichever way you choose. New movies, new TV shows, uh, whichever shows you like to watch, whatever uh, movies you want to watch. And, of course, you definitely have music. And uh, this is where you can get a Groove Music subscription. You can buy music. You can also watch music videos, as you can see with the Drake video on YouTube. So all that is actually built into this hub. So um, I hit the home button. I went back to the main hub here. And you still have the functions on your controller, like hitting the menu button to quit out of a game. And then also tapping to the side, I'm just going to go in and enter into the settings and show you what the general settings look like. Now, you can see the Windows 10 influence here. This is running Windows 10, but again, uh, it's its own stylized version of it. You can see how the menu system has been broken down a little bit simpler and easier to access. Things have categories on the side and they have subcategories in larger tiles. All black and white, no color, which is fine. Makes it easier for people to read, access, things like that. I can go into my button mapping, which is actually an app but then it takes me straight to there and I can go ahead and, and remap my uh, Elite controller if I choose to or whichever controller I have. So you have that built in there. Um, in terms of just going back to the speed here, when I said it's not as fast as the video, uh, the first video Merge and Nelson put up on there for this it was really snappy, really fast. Uh, but in, you know, it's actually a little bit, a little bit slower than that. I'm sure it will improve as they keep moving forward. Of course, you can use Connect uh, if you choose to and snap applications. Uh, you can also call out application prompts. You can do all those different things. Now, what I'm looking for here is the Edge browser. Uh, and uh, I'm just going to go to my applications and I don't have that pinned to my desk, the desktop or my, my homepage. I don't know why. But you have the Microsoft Edge browser replaces Internet Explorer. And what that allows you to do is, of course, it gives you a little bit more fluidity. You can watch, of course, HTML5 uh, videos, things like that on here. And again, you can see some of the things I mentioned with speed. It does start up faster, but not as fast as the video showcase. Most of the controls for this are on your controller. So if you want to actually go ahead and zoom in, zoom out, right trigger, left trigger, if you I hit B to back out there, if you want to basically go in and uh, type in a new web page to access, that is hitting your menu button on your controller and that will give you those options there for that. So you do have a bunch of options there. It's really, it's really fluid. When viewing content HTML5, it's fast, it's wonderful. When it's not HTML5, then you know it's flash, which can be uh, an issue for it, but you have your keyboard that comes up. You can see how uh, diverse and, and and smooth it is. It's actually a nice app. Now you've got, of course, a couple of settings. You can you can browse in private mode here. You can show the address bar, and then you can see some of the options here. Not too much in terms of uh, the browser options. It's a little bit more limited. Uh, of course, you can uh, request mobile site if you choose, but it comes with a standard desktop site for the browser. So so far, it's good. It's nice, and uh, it works out fairly well. Another update is to the profiles, your own personal profile. So going to my face right there on the quick access, I can jump into my profile, I can see my info, I can see what I've been doing. I can also customize my profile if I choose to, check a feed to see what I've been doing game-wise in terms of my own personal feed. I can go back and replay content, um, compare all the games I've played and all the achievements, percentage, things like that. I, fi I finished Halo 5 Guardians, uh, but it's at 20% because I haven't done much in multiplayer or, or collected achievements. So you can see all the different games, even your Windows 10 games in there. So you see uh, games like Modern Combat 4, which is on Windows 10. I played it on, I have not played it on my Xbox. It shows up here. So all those kind of achievements are in one collective space. You can see what people you're following and your friends and then as well as captures there so you have all that built in there overall 
I like the improvements with the Xbox One here. I think they've done a fantastic job altogether. I want to see more improvements to speed. There's some, things, some apps that open up faster than the others and some apps that don't. So uh, hopefully that gets fine-tuned across the board when apps get updated because uh, newer apps, yes, uh, some older apps, not so much. So you then tend to see those kind of differences in there. But overall, I like it. I think uh, this is a good improvement. And I also want to see Cortana integration. The final product doesn't have Cortana, it will have, and I hope Cortana takes over from me saying uh, um, Xbox commands, rather just saying Cortana play video or Cortana open up Call of Duty. It's something I like to see. In the beta, oh well, you could use Cortana, but it's not in the final version, so I didn't want to actually include it in this review. So if you have any questions, any comments, let us know. Otherwise, don't forget to like and share this video, favorite this video, subscribe to the channel, follow me on Xbox, it's Thunder Emperor with all threes inside of E's, and always enjoy your entertainment.